Hello and welcome to looking at a failed design of a super high speed, super small craft in KSP called the Interceptor. Because it was supposed to be like a, a super small interceptor. If I remember correctly, this design was inspired by someone who sent in a plane for a plane review. And I don't know if you can tell very much, uh, as I'm quickly going through these, the little differences between each one as I go through. You notice this one has a shit ton of reaction wheels. But yeah, I thought I'd show you real quick in this kind of fast switching between things, how I kind of go through my design process and the little differences. Like this one, this one is very little difference. Like I can't even figure out what the difference was on this version from the others. Well, from the most recent one that I just showed you. And then here we have, <laughs> yes, I was trying to design a shuttle. So this was basically me laying out the parts in a rough placement. So it's like, okay, it will roughly look like this, except, you know, obviously these, I just put these here. So I'd have, okay, I'm probably going to use this control surface, that control surface, this wing, that wing, you know, etc., etc. Oh yeah, monoprop engine, because I was thinking about using monoprop engines, even though that ended up not working out. Then we have the uh, work, work in progress too for the shuttle, where I was messing messing around with how I could attach some of these. Oh yes, this this was me working on an attempt to make a custom tail because the thing is, I wanted to do like the real space shuttle and have, or at least I think the real space shuttle works like this. I'm 99% certain that the real space shuttle has braking control surfaces on the uh, on the tail here, the, the two sides split open. And I did that on my Viper as well, I forget. Yes, I did that on the Viper design that I've done and I wanted to do something like that for the shuttle, but I couldn't really make it look good. Like, this is- it doesn't look good, so I, I was just like, fine, I'll use the regular tail. As you can see, I'm messing around with the other pieces a bit more. Then, because I wasn't paying close enough attention, I never actually created a work in progress 3. I went straight to 4, and uh, as you can see, the engines are more in a proper placement. I have this kind of uh, where the RCS pods would go, or uh, not re RCS. Well, yeah, they would be RCS as well, but also the uh, in-space thrusters, control thruster. Well, that's what a reaction control system is for. And uh, you can see I have the bay open, and it looks a lot more like a shuttle, but still very work in progress. Then we have the work in progress 5, which actually... Oop, I'm messing around with the controls a bit wrong. Um, it actually is basically like proper in a way. You know, it's it's got everything situated well enough to give it a test flight to see if it'll even fly. I also... I am not good at doing things with wings that are fancy. I am, look at that, there's just all these little gaps and stuff that's annoying. I mean, this is the best I've ever done at this kind of thing, but it's still kind of blech. Oh yes, and I was very careful to make sure that none of those control surfaces glitched inside the interior, because I always hate when control surfaces do that. So then, of course, I had a shuttle. I needed a way to test it. So my first idea was to attach some external liquid fuel to fire the engines so that I could fire it straight up. Oh yes, they would have separatrons on them for detaching them. That design didn't work so well, so I moved on to using solid rocket boosters as my attempt to give it a little bit of a push into the air. And then from there, I went on with tiny little modifications. I don't know what the difference is here per se, but it's something to do with the booster placement or booster properties, perhaps. Nope. I, I don't know exactly what's changed in this design here. It might have even been a small modification of the shuttle itself. But in any case, this is another attempt at it. That's why I made that video the other day of, well, it's been, I don't know how long it's been now. I, I am not good at keeping track of time, but I made a video a little while back about a stock shuttle that someone made. I think it was fairly recently. After that, there's no more shuttle work in progress anythings because I, I failed. The Strike Breaker 102, uh, there is, there, I mean, the Strike Breaker 100, rather. There, I was thinking about making a Strike Breaker 102, but I decided it's completely not necessary considering the Strike Breaker 100 performs just as well. Well, not just as well, but I think it performs similar enough that I don't need to change it in 1.0.2. Like, I developed it in 1.0.0, and it, it just works as it is. I have several old Strike Breakers in here that I was using as reference material when designing the Strike Breaker 100, because I was designing it from the ground up. And then, of of course, I have the Stubbs 102 fighter, which I made a video about where I landed on a carrier and took off from a carrier repeatedly. That was pretty fun. I'd show you the work in progress for that, but I actually can't because I've deleted the work in progress version, which actually looked pretty much the same. So it might have been minute differences or just differences in action groups or control surfaces a little bit. It was it was pretty much the same thing as what you see here. You might have noticed we have a BD version and a VTOL. Yep, I need to make the video with that. Also, I don't have my BD parts loaded right now, so of course that says it's invalid. Then there was this silly design that someone else made something kind of like this, but theirs was, well, 
it looked better than this. Someone made something that was like this, and I'm like, ooh, I want to make something like that. And I made this thing, and it's horrible and doesn't work right, if I remember correctly. And even if it does work, it's just, eh, it's, it's like one of those things where you're like, ooh, this will be a good idea. Nope. So yeah, that's, that's all for right now. I just felt like uh, sharing some of my insanity, you know, sharing the design process, how I go through my research and development.